Welcome to Fish and More. Today I will tell you everything you need to know about killifish. But before we proceed, do subscribe and like as well as share this video which will support me and help my channel grow. Killifish is the common name used for any fish in the order Cyprinodontiforms toothcarps. These little torpedo-shaped fish are well known for their vibrant and diverse colors. Altogether, killifish encompass 14 different fish families and over 1,000 different species. They live all over the world except the Antarctic and Australia, and the majority live in freshwater lakes, rivers, and streams. In fact, it is thought that their common name comes from the Dutch word, kill, which means small stream. Killies are an easy fish to care for. They will need a varied diet and stable water parameters. This hardy fish does not require any special care needs in order to live a long and happy life. Your main task will be to keep their aquarium clean. If you do not keep their aquarium clean then it can cause them stress which makes them vulnerable to diseases like fin rot and columnaris, a type of bacterial infection that is common in killifish. While simple treatments for these diseases exist, prevention is better than cure. To prevent the introduction of diseases you should keep track of anything new you introduce in your tank as well as the food you feed your fish. You cannot overstate how crucial it is to quarantine new plants or fish since they tend to be the main causes for of new diseases. Diet. In the wild killifish are predators and prey on small insects, worms and crustaceans. They have wide mouths for their body size so they can eat foods that other similar sized species cannot unfortunately they are not well suited to heavily processed foods like flakes or pellets. Instead they should be fed live and frozen foods. Just remember that some species have different dietary preferences, so you should keep track of their special requirements. The suggestions listed below are suitable for all killifish. Water fleas, brine shrimp, cyclops and other coke pods, freeze-dried microinvertebrates, fruit flies, blood worms, tubifex worms. Killifish thrive on a varied diet so you should avoid feeding them too much of one type of food as this can lead to malnutrition or obesity. You should also make sure that you feed the correct size meal to your particular species. A golden wonder killifish can eat bigger pieces of food and requires a higher caloric intake when compared to a clown killifish. As for feeding times they have high metabolism so they should be fed in small meals throughout the day. Annuals should be fed more than non-annuals to support their growth and reproduction. It is best to avoid large single meals to prevent possible complications from feeding. Behavior. Killifish tend to inhabit the top level of the water column. They spend a lot of time here as they are constantly searching for insects that have fallen into the water. They also tend to be quite active, especially so during feeding time. When kept in a school you will see a wide range of schooling activities including swimming and feeding. However not all killifish will school and some do fine in smaller groups of two or three. These fish tend not to interact with plants or decor, although they may hide in small places if they feel threatened. A unique trait is their ability to jump. This is why it is important to make sure that you get a cover for your tank otherwise you may find your fish outside your tank. Habitat and aquarium set up. In the wild killifish habitats can vary quite drastically. Here we will focus on where the majority of species live. Most killifish live in swampy, Low flow streams are lakes that are shaded by either foliage from above or floating plants. Because of this, these bodies of water tend to be cooler and have low light levels. The water tends to be soft and slightly acidic too due to the vegetation that surrounds their habitat. A lot of steps must be taken to replicate these water conditions. Aquarium conditions. First of all you will need to use soft water without lots of minerals. If soft water is not available then you might have to resort to reverse osmosis water, this is water that is purified of minerals. Rainwater can also be a valid substitute but you have the risk of contamination. However if you are able to collect it safely then feel free to use it if you feel comfortable. To maintain soft water and low acidity you can also introduce a peat moss filter or driftwood to your tank. That's all for Killifish Care Guide, thank you.